Greetings gamers, Fayo here and in this video I'm going to show you how to survive the cabin fight on Hardcore. So as you start you have to push this library here, grab the planks and barricade one of the windows. I barricade this one because it's in front of us and I break open as many of the cupboards and boxes as possible in order to get as much of the loot as I can. This is paramount because you'll have to fight a lot of things and even if you've been playing conservatively up to this point your economy will be a bit stretched. So first order of business get the loot and try to stop the ganados from entering the house too early. There is no specific number of enemies that will be on the battlefield at any given point. What you need to do is just hold out support each other and make it through the encounter the encounter lasts approximately five to six minutes if you're killing a lot of stuff so focus on optimizing what's happening in front of you there will be a lot of loot in this place so if you end up in a situation like me where i was full of items and didn't want to sell anything don't forget to craft flashbangs flashbangs are very important in resident evil fall remake even more than in the og because you'll be fighting a lot of las plagas that will be exposed out of the bodies of the ganados a flashbang will kill any las plaga parasite that's exposed in one use okay so Luis will remain at ground level for most of the fight. He will just be fighting downstairs. And your attention should be focused on the villagers that one, have an explosive plaga, that's explanatory, or two, are twitching on the ground. That means they are about to transform. If they transform their second form this one that you see here is much more resilient and takes a lot of ammunition to put down permanently one usage of your knife when they're still transforming will take them out of commission in an instant also as you saw here i found a second plank i think that in this encounter the ganados will drop planks as well that's a let's say Call back from Resident Evil 2 remake where you will be able to barricade the police station. So if you see them on the ground, there is no reason why you shouldn't pick them up and use them to slow the progress of the Ganados. Another thing you should note is that you can actually attack Lewis and if you attack him too many times, it's not gonna end well. But if he is surrounded by Ganados and you happen to have a spare grenade, you can just throw it and although he will comment on the fact that you basically blew him up it will count as just one damage instance if it's one damage or a million damage it does not matter he will just say oh you're blowing me up and will go about his merry business don't do it a thousand times but if you can capitalize on an opening to take out many ganados I say go for it 100% because it will make your life that much easier. Simple Ganados will only be stunned by the flashbang. Exposed Parasite Ganados will be killed, no questions asked. Also, this small balcony-like thingy that you see in front of me here is a one-way trip. If you get stuck in there and you get surrounded, you're with your back against the wall and I suppose pose you've gotten the memo by now that in this game having your back against the wall is not as a good idea as it was in the past because in resident evil 4 og in 2005 you could get away with a lot of things if you had your back against the wall but here combat is much more dynamic and if you get cornered you're probably going to get pooped at some point the big guy with a hammer will just break your barricade and come in the house and um yeah, you'll have to fight him in this enclosed space. He is a toughie to take down. What I noticed is that you can use your sniper rifle to go for consistent headshots one at a time and he will be stunlocked. But uh, 
it's still risky. It is risky because he is aggressive, he might come in for the hit, and if you're not fast enough, you will suffer the consequences. It's one of the enemies that actually gives you a dodge chance, so if you see the prompt to dodge with crouch, you should always dodge, just like you see here. Also guys, remember, throughout the game, if you want to make a last ditch effort to avoid something, always try to use crouch because it works. And as you saw here, the backstab with a knife on the sucker, even if he has noticed you, if you can stun him, will use a bit of the knife's duration, but deal tremendous damage, so always go for it. Stun the enemies, flashbang the enemies, you can go behind them and go for the knife. So. I hope I made your life easier. Sub, like, share, hit the notification bell. I'm covering everything in Resident Evil 4 Remake and streaming it. So until next time, be well, stay frosty, and always try to perfection. Cheers!